Hey guys, before we get to the video, if you want more videos on tips and tricks and different things in the heating and air industry, definitely hit click that subscribe button before you do anything. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin here serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia. And I wanted to do a video on the Daikin 1 thermostat uh, because I think as awesome as Daikin is and as awesome as this thermostat is, I think this is one thing that they could have made a little easier um, for, for the homeowner. So for, for us, we once you learn it, you know, we've learned it. But for you guys, you know, this is the first time you've laid hands on this thermostat. And I wanted to do a video on how to connect it to Wi-Fi starting out and then some other features that you may want to check out with it. Okay, so you got your new thermostat, maybe a contractor installed it for you, and unlike normally when you receive a, a, any other product or any other thermostat for that matter, you would receive a bunch of literature, a bunch of you know packets, information, instructions, install manuals, all these different things. The Daikin One doesn't come with any of that. So what you have to do to get all of that is you go to this website, daikin1.com, daikin1.com, and this is what comes up. So the front page is, you know, kind of vague. It kind of shows you what the thermostat looks like and all that good stuff. But if you're looking to connect it to Wi-Fi or do some of the other features that you might be interested in, you're going to want to click this tab right here that says Homeowners. And when you do that, there's a few things that you can look at, but the thing that I would like to show you is if you go all the way to the bottom, there are some YouTube videos, okay? So <clears throat> each one of them talks about something differently, but I'm assuming if you're watching this, you are trying to either connect it to Wi-Fi or you're learning more about the thermostat. So I'm gonna start out by showing you this video that shows you how to connect it to Wi-Fi so you don't have to close out this video and then go look at that video and all that jazz. So I'm going to play it right now. Introducing the Daikin One Plus Smart Thermostat. In this video, you will learn how to connect the Daikin One Plus Smart Thermostat to your Wi-Fi network. Start by pressing the menu icon in the top right-hand corner of the touchscreen. Select Settings and then press Configuration. Now press Home Wi-Fi. Make sure the Use Wi-Fi option box is checked, and then press Networks. Find the network you want to use and select it. Now input your Wi-Fi password using the on-screen keyboard. When finished, press Done. Wait a few moments while the Daikin One Plus connects to the Wi-Fi network. Once it is connected, you will see the name of your network appear on the screen. Press the dial to return home. Your thermostat is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. Okay, cool. So now you've connected your thermostat to the Wi-Fi and now what? You know, this is one of the things that I feel like, and, and this may change, uh, maybe Daikin will make this better, but I, but this is where I feel like they could do a little better job. And, and that is, now what, right? I mean, my thermostat's connected to Wi-Fi, but what now? <laughs> How do I control it? I mean, what, what do I do next, right? So what you want to do, if you come down here to the bottom, in this little tiny blurb, it says to get the Daikin One Home mobile app. And that's available with the Apple Store and Google Play. So depending on what kind of phone you have. Um, and we're going to go through that app now. Okay, so now I've downloaded the app. I have an iPhone, so the Droid might look a little different than this. But when you open it, there's going to be a login. Hopefully you can see that. You know, an email and password. What you want to do, if this is the first time you've downloaded this app and, and 
been on, you know, your thermostat and all that good stuff is all the way at the bottom. It says, don't have an account, create one. So you're going to want to create an account. And once you do all of that, they will walk you through the steps connecting to your thermostat that is connected to the Wi-Fi. So yeah, it's connected to the Wi-Fi, but how can you control it now? And the way you do that is this app, okay? Once you create your account, I wanted to show you, this is kind of what it looks like. It's a pretty simple and clean looking, um, but this is what it'll look like. And if you look, uh, there's a little plus sign right let's see right there okay little plus sign there if you click that plus sign that is how you're going to add your thermostat to your account okay and you might have more than one so and you'll be able to re to name each one of them you'll see where i have living room there and and it says then it's once you click that it says thermostats um, you may have multiple thermostats in your home. Um, maybe you have your uh, second home or whatever, but they'll all be listed right there and it's nice and clean and simple. Okay, so let's say you've gotten your thermostat, connected it to Wi-Fi and you've downloaded the app and you can now control it. There are a few things I want to point out and that is, uh, there's a video here on configuring the schedules. Definitely check that out. Uh, there's a geofencing feature, uh, kind of like some of the other smart thermostats. It'll know whether or not you're home. A number of other uh, features you should definitely check out. I, there might be even more videos added to this site in the future as, as the thermo, they're, they're constantly updating it, making it better. It's, it's their flagship, if you will. A product that is going to be paired with lots of their systems, their inverter systems, and all of that. A couple of things I just want to note. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go into you know the professional side of things. I think that you should have a pro help you if you're going to be going into any of those settings. Not saying you would really mess up a whole lot, but you know, I'd hate. I'd hate for you to do that. So you know, if you have a good contractor. That you just bought a system from they should happily uh, help you um, set up some of this stuff but I wanted to point out a couple things the first thing is one of the easiest most interesting settings that I've seen so far that I think should be highlighted is when you, when the thermostats installed there is a little tab that says do you want large font you know, versus the small font that it comes with, meaning the, you know, the digits on the screen. I always turn the large on. The small, honestly, I think is too small on some of these. And so the larger will make it easier for you to see what's going on, the temperature settings, all that good stuff. I don't know that it makes the icons any bigger, but it makes the font bigger. The, you know, the actual writing on the thermostat as you can see here so this is kind of a couple little quick shot screenshots of of the thermostat and of different things you can do with it um, and kind of what that looks like on on the screen itself so that's the first thing the other thing I wanted to point out is you know one cool thing I think is it, you can easily tell this doesn't show it in this picture but you can easily tell what mode your thermostat is in without even having to touch it because if it's in cooling mode or heating mode um, depending on which mode it's in it will have a, a kind of a I don't want to say a dim but just a an accented um, light shining below the thermostat on the wall um, and depending on what color it is that's what mode it's in so if it's red it's heat if it's blue it's you know an AC mode so I think that's pretty cool, but yeah, so check out this website. This, this website is set up to be your guide, if you will. They, they, instead of having all these pamphlets that most people lose or throw away anyway, and you know, and then you, you wish you hadn't later on, um, this is all in one place. It's a website you can go to 
to see what else. And the last thing I'll point out is there is a phone number here. If you're having some issues, you need some assistance, uh, Daikin is definitely there to help. Someone that speaks English, which is rare these days, right? Someone that speaks English will answer the phone. That's the Daikin One thermostat. If you are in Griffin Air's coverage area, we would love to earn your business. If you're not in our coverage area, definitely click that subscribe button. And if you want more information or tips and tricks in heating and air, definitely subscribe. I'll be doing more videos on that. Uh, but if you are in our coverage area, we have the best warranty around. Our Daikin systems come with a 12-year parts and labor warranty. And a lot of the higher seer systems that we are selling also come with a 12-year unit replacement warranty. So if you were to have a major failure, uh, they would replace the entire unit. And you might say, well, of course they, they should do that. Uh, you would not believe how many folks don't do that. You know, they don't stand behind their product like that. 11 years later and the compressor fail. And so they just turn around and give you a whole new unit. That is unheard of. So they have a really good warranty and definitely give us a call. Last thing I will say is if you are in the market for a new heating and air system, and you are about to spend thousands of dollars, you got to check out my new website. It's called the New HVAC Guide. This is kind of a screenshot of it. And uh, I did, I've done some other videos on what the guide is all about. Uh, we will give you some of the behind the scenes stuff, stuff that contractors don't want you to even know, manufacturers don't want you to know. I'm going through all of that stuff. We even have a page called No Nos, things to go, you know, to stay away from. And this guide will guide you through the process of purchasing your heating and air system. You know, your heating and air system, aside from your house and car, is one of the biggest investments that you'll make. It's amazing to me how many folks just, you know, willy nilly go into it and just do whatever it is a contractor just tells them what to do or whatever this guide will help with that. It's almost like a realtor when you buy a house. This guide is meant to be there to help you and, and go through all of that. So check out the new HVACguide.com before you spend thousands. You got to check out the guide. Thank you.